Okay, thank you for coming to this tutorial. We've, uh, we, we're looking at uh, adding a new toolbar in Coral CAD 2014 here. Um, so what we're going to do is is add add our own custom icons which are shown in the toolbar. First thing you've got to do is go to a blank space in the toolbar and do a right click on your mouse and click toolbars. Here you'll see a list of toolbars which uh, are ticked, which are shown to you already, and we're going to customize and create a new one. So what that does it take us to the uh, area where we can add our own toolbars. In this section, you've got to make sure that the interface is uh, selected, and you need to click toolbars. And then you want to sort of scroll down to the bottom as I do and maybe click the bottom one. And if you right click your mouse here and you want to go to a new toolbar. So then you get a section which is a new toolbar there and you do a right click and you rename that to my newest toolbar my newest toolbar. Let's just put a zero 01 on the end of that so that uh, we can see what it is. And if you click off that and then click it back on onto it again just to secure that naming uh, selection. We're going to now add a new entry and it comes up with uh, a toolbar entry. This is the bit that probably is the most confusing really which gets you because it doesn't give you any way to change that so you have to double click that and a little change happens with it uh, popping up with a, a small drop down menu then then you can select any of the commands that you see listed here just give you a quick scroll that's all the different commands so let's have a, a, a zoom a zoom to fit um, I've got that actually. Let's have uh, zoom previous. So that's in the newest toolbar. Um, that's selected. Let's just apply that. And OK. OK, let's just give that a second. Not sure where that's gone. Ah, so we've put that in, and we've um, we need to activate that particular one now. So if we go to toolbars, and we're looking for the one which we named uh, my my newest toolbar zero one, you have to then select it on the. Uh, to see it. So really here it is and then we can pick that up and we can drop that into an area at the end. And so that's how you get a custom toolbar, create your own toolbar and add it to the existing workspace. Okay, thank you for coming and um, do visit again to see some more tutorials. Thank you.